So the low drama is what most people know as you make me feel you are responsible for my feelings. So where we putting our responsibility in somebody else's um, base. You do something that makes me feel this. You said something that makes me angry. And as I said, that was the four core feelings that we all have. We're tapping into this thing of getting more responsible for what we feel. So we start with a low drama triangle and this takes about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes altogether. So that the low drama triangle is that when we are in low drama and we're making the other person responsible for our feelings, then we tapping into that dynamic where our fear becomes insecurity and we're using our fear to rescue others or we please or we tend to do it right for other people that they feel better that we'll feel better about ourselves so that the fear is an is an is an um a sense of overwhelm of insecurity when we look into sadness Sadness is the dynamic in the low drama as the victim. And it's related to weakness. It's not okay to feel sad. Sadness is something is, you know, little children or little girls cry. Don't be sad. When somebody is sad, we just need to change their sadness. Or people who are sad, just like, oh my God, what you said make me so, so sad and, 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 and I'm, I'm feeling bad. And, and so, so projecting our feelings on others, others are responsible for how we feel. And then we have anger, what is the persecutor or what is aggression? So we project our anger onto somebody else that, uh, that they are wrong. They're doing something wrong. Can one of you relate with this dynamics? We're making other people responsible and we blame them. It's their fault of how we feel. I'm guilty of that. I've done tons of that. <laughs> so, and then the question is, where is joy? Joy is in the middle of this dynamic and as the joy of creating drama, getting something out of that, wanting to be right, wanting to win when the other person is wrong. Um, the so-called shadows that I talked in the very beginning, so our survivor strategies. Um, so what I would like, you to do is just for a moment is just to close your eyes and feel into your own little low drama that I call gremlin. So the gremlin is our little creature within ourselves that is blaming, that's making other people responsible making other people wrong, taking responsibility away from us and needing other people to change that we feel better about ourselves. So, and without making that wrong, just welcome that part in yourself just for a few moments and see that this is part of our very existence. So, just let that part just be there and just say hello to it. And it's just a little, you know, it's a joyful little game. And then I welcome you to tell this little gremlin to sit next to you. You just demand sit here and put that on your side. Sit here, gremlin. And you have a picture of how it looks. So let this picture just occur. And 
then ask that gremlin, tell me your name. And let the name just occur. And when you have the name, just energetically put that little gremlin on a leash or on a chain. So that you have the picture of your little gremlin of the joy of creating drama and you have the name. And for the few next minutes, I invite you just for the fun of it, for the joy of it, draw the picture of your gremlin on the leash and write the name under it. Just allow yourself to be childish. Take a piece of paper, take a pen, just for the fun of it, and just draw your gremlin for about three, four minutes. your joy of creating drama. And then give your gremlin a job. Mike, I'll show you mine. Okay, one moment. Can you see it? My one called Anton. Anton is a little drama queen and Anton want to fuck everything and Anton can actually really manipulate to get people doing weird stuff. Uh, and Anton has a lot of joy and other people's drama. And then I said, well, I have, <laughs> this is your drama. I have nothing to do with that. So Anton is a sneaky little fucker. And I gave Anton the job whenever a low drama comes towards me now to warn me. So Ant Anton's job is, instead of creating drama, is telling me when a drama comes to me that I can be in alignment and integrity and not creating shit. So that's Anton. I introduce you to my little gremlin. Here it is. So what I would like you to do with each other, have about three minutes each, and I time you, um, to introduce your partner in your little gremlin, explain it, what's its name, and what is it doing, and what's the job that you give your gremlin. Okay, so then let's go into the high drama. You know, the low drama is not like um, it's shit. You know, when you fight and when shit hits the fan and when stuff goes wrong and the high drama is then it goes really wrong. No, that's not what the high drama is. The low drama is where the low frequency is just like, oh shit, how do we get out of that? You know, the high drama is when it's really awesome between you. The high drama is when you're getting really into the good stuff. The high drama is where it gets really fantastic. And this is what I want to invite you into with this workshop or with this training that you can create that high drama by choice and that you can create that high drama by um, knowing how to access it. Let's get into it. So that was the low drama. The high drama is that in the first place, when the low drama and your gremlin is exposed, that there will be for a while no drama. And that's totally okay. So no drama is kind of taking ownership about your feelings. I'm responsible for my feelings and I'm responsible to stay open. And ownership happens when you can 
own your fear in the I form when you can speak, I feel fear. And that your fear can transform into curiosity. When you can own your sadness in I form, I feel sad. Then your sadness can transform into comfort. When you can own your anger with I feel angry, then your anger can transform into energy. And when you can own your joy, I feel joyful, then your joy can transform into play. And I imagine this is what we all kind of look for anyway, <laughs> to a degree. So, um, put that down here. So when your high drama is getting activated, so when your feelings by ownership can transform into the other dynamics, then your fear becomes the superpower of getting focused and the shamanic um, superpower that we all have that you become through that is the magician. So you just can, um, you're, an, you're an alchemist, you can create from that place, staying focused, being present, you know, like a razor, razor blade, sharp bullshit detector, where you can sense what's going on around you and you speak truths, you're not afraid. You're not afraid of being afraid, you just, you can be real and honest. And your sadness will transform into, I need to move that a little bit here. Your sadness can transform into intimacy and your shamanic superpower is the lover. However, you define the lover. I will talk about that later, not, not today, but later during this training. So that the lover is a specific quality that um, is very transformative. So your anger can transform into becoming the superpower of the warrior and being a protector. So that you can use your anger to protect others who are in demand of your strength. And then the question is, what happens with joy here? So joy becomes the superpower of where you become a visionary leader and creator so that you can use your feelings and your emotions when you can engage with them in ownership with another person, you can create intimacy you, you, you can be protective and you can stay focused and you can create with sourcing yourself from your feelings and your emotions into what you want to create in the world around you by being in the flow of your own feelings and your own senses. <clears throat> 